What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's your boy. We're whipping up some edible shit. Biscuits, eggs, taters. Taters in. Oh, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, what we've been doing the past half year of our lives. We're gonna go work on the damn farmhouse. Yay! Get some uh, drywall hung up out there on the walls. Got all the ceilings done for the most part. So, yeah, go ahead and throw these bullshitters in the oven so we can burn them. We better put these taters on high because they're probably not gonna cook worth the damn. Aside from whipping up bullshit, today we have a big surprise for you. I'm not even gonna say it. Just be yeah, go buddy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not notice that it went from there to there? The truck has moved. So the Ford is driving now. It is drive a bull. We're gonna drive it out to the farmhouse. It's about a 30, 45 minute drive. Here, let's just go ahead and walk out here. Let me show y'all what I put on here. You know, everybody knew I was putting the lift on there so I could fit the bigger tires, right? So you see how the rear bumper kind of looks like some tomato shit? Basically, because I put the body lift on, my bumper now, we have to put these brackets on here and drill a few holes through them so my bumper comes up. I had to do the same thing for the front bumper, but damn, bro, check these tires out. Last night back here was a swamp. What they look like? Yeah. Super Swamper M16s, buddy. My truck looks freaking giant now, man. Like, it's so much bigger. Exactly four inches bigger. Like, you gotta get up there, man. Fucking awesome. I doubt Stella can even jump in there. I actually had to put brackets on the front bumper because it was the same as the rear bumper. It was dropped down. I put it on by myself, bro. I just, I just gotta flex that, man. Like, you don't understand how much work it took. I done it yesterday. My back still feels 50 years old. This is how I make scrambled eggs, if you didn't know. I like to do this. Put it all in the pan, squidge it up. That way you got white chunks of egg, and then you got yellow chunks of egg. I think it's a lot better doing it this way. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my lunch up. That way I have something to eat. I don't have to leave and go out to eat. Waste $45. Eggs are just about done. Kinda wanna show you all this. Oh! Kenny method of making a bologna sandwich. Thick cut bologna. No! Water! Fuck out of here with that. Every bite, you got mustard in between everything. It's awesome. What? You just gonna walk in my house, bark, expect to get rubbed? Yeah, you think it worked? It worked today. Smear. Uh, I don't apologize for the dirty dishes. My dirty dishes are that big of a deal. Come over here and wash them yourself. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We got the honey butter biscuit, a little spread of peanut butter, potatoes with ketchup, and eggs with ketchup. And that's a nutritional breakfast, dog. But I'm about to gobble this shit down real quick, and we'll be on our way. So I'll get back to y'all. You know how y'all never got to hear this, right? Everybody's like, oh my gosh, Kenny, you have an exhaust here now? What? True duels that run all the way back into a four inch tip straight out the back. So here's what she sounds like now. to go into that orange crate and bring some 12 foot pieces into here because I ran out. A few days ago I went out to Lowe's and I bought almost everything there is left to buy to get this house done. Here is the flooring. Not sure if y'all can see it but that's what it looks like. It's gonna go from the entrance hallway to the guest bedroom and then all the way into the kitchen. I also already bought all the other flooring but it was special order so it had to wait to come in. The lights for my bedroom. Here is some carpet and carpet padding. This stuff is gonna go from the bedroom and into the closet. This is gonna be the living room ceiling fan, a guest bedroom ceiling fan, the office ceiling fan. Here is two toilets, the guest bathroom, shower, the brand new bathtub, guest bathroom, vanity. And yeah, that's, uh, that's all the stuff we got in here for the house. <laughs> We're getting serious about it now. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're done for the day now. This room, the sheetrock is hung. It's done all the way around. It's done. My very first room I've ever completed with sheetrock. It's not really too bad. <laughs> When I got done with that, I went ahead and went in here in the office and I got the walls insulated. I stuffed bullshit up behind there. It's the only way I could insulate these walls. Yeah, we're loading up everything right now. I had a pretty good day today. I got a decent amount done. Howdy. Don't go breaking my... Don't go breaking my heart. Well, guys, we got to get this fucking four-wheeler running. It's fucking mint. It's fucking oil. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your Bill Cosby in a can and you're going to want... Micer got the old 400 running for steam condition, and all he's got is two wheel drive. What the hell? What happened? What's it? Oh, because you're doing donuts and grass. Mint.
це... Bigfoot? Dang. I appreciate you telling me. folks can't hardly see shit because it's so damn bright out all last week it snowed like six inches all together and everything's just melting the ground sopping wet perfect snowball weather you just reach for the ground grab and throw i can't have some nine-year-old comment that i throw like a girl so here you go <laughs> And when it first snowed, stayed up there at the farmhouse and I got a lot more done. I'll show y'all more progress out there next video. But yeah, my tires are clean now, so I'm gonna give y'all a better look on them. I know the first time I showed them to y'all, they were a little muddy. SSM16, here's the tread design, tread pattern. Seems to be working pretty good so far. These bullets all the way around it, M16 shell casings all the way around them. You don't even understand what it took to get this bead to pop up onto the wheel. Intercoal tire, baby. Check them out. Links in the description. Truck needs a good old washing. You can see from all the damn salt on the roads, it's just covered my truck. So far, the truck's been holding up good, but I had to pull a trailer with my truck. New tires, it really did not do that good. This is what's gonna make my truck actually drive worth the damn. Nitro gearing hooked us up. We got two new rear wheel bearings, and here's the most exciting part. You know how I'm always doing one wheel pills? Never again. Fat ass worm gear posse. I don't know what the fuck that means, but we're gonna figure it out. This is the uh, new gears for the front. Right there's new ring, you just bolt it right up. New pinion. And what this is, it's a 513 gear ratio. So I got 373 now, I'm moving up to 513. Might be a little too low, but I really don't give a shit. I don't drive on the parkway much anyway. I'd rather have the low end power. Ain't never had it before, it'd be nice. And in here, got pre-made nitro axle kits that they slapped together for me. Appreciate that, guys. Gasket maker, all the bolts, seals, everything else. There's all the new bearings, I assume, for the pinion, guys. I think this is for front bearings new gasket came with an old nitro axle sticker it looks the exact same as that one it's the rear uh brand new gear brand new pinion oh and of course got the fancy dancy nitro synthetic plus not gear oil gear lube so yeah believe it or not i'm actually putting a different gear ratio on that truck no more getting exposed in the mud never have but <laughs> little fucker wallowing around the farm out there. We thought we might as well take him home. <laughs> Sammy Baxter. But, alright guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you let me know. By leaving this video with a fat thumbs up. As soon as I get the farmhouse done, I'm gonna be making some badass clickbait ass videos. Just like a real YouTuber. So if you'd like to stay tuned for that shit, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.